Hi everybody, Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios here, and today we're reviewing a handmade, hand-built ribbon microphone from Extinct Audio, and it comes in one of these. So this is the Extinct Audio Black Ops mic, and the box is amazing. This is a genuine 7.62mm ammo box. Let's pop this open to reveal a nice svelte microphone. This is their Black Ops microphone. They also make a microphone they call the BM9. And that one is more sensitive. This one is designed to be able to be used on guitar amps. Apparently you can even use this on bass amps, but I haven't dared to do that. Which also means that it must be tough enough to use quite close to drums and such. Now, this design evokes a certain other company's ribbon, shall we say. Uh, but I don't think it's been made that way to copy another company. It just so happens that when you make a microphone that's, well, in a tube and they've cut out the slats here so that there's no resonance around the ribbon and these massive magnets flank to the sides, that shape ends up looking a lot like, and I'm just going to say it, a Roya 121 ribbon. And I think that's just one of those things it's ended up like that. Uh, the magnets on this thing are very, very strong indeed, which helps this thing to have a relatively high output without having to be overly sensitive, which means that it can be used on guitar cabs. Here this is in action on a PV6505, which is a 120 watt guitar amp, through a 4x12 from Zilla with a lot of volume kicking out and it's not overloading. Check this out. So I asked Extinct Audio what the differences were between the BM9 and the Black Ops because they look very similar, the design isn't too different. Uh, but apparently the BM9 is a lot more sensitive and is designed to have a lot more uh, low end inherently. Apparently you get kind of a, a neutral amount of bass because of the proximity effect on the BM9 from a meter away. Whereas with the BM9 you get a, the, re the right amount of bass from about that far away. Which I do like to use the proximity effect on guitar cabinets and such to my advantage But that means that instead of it being a boomy mess, it's actually quite a good balance It's not overly low endy and doesn't need shelving off too much Which is great for me Question is does that make it not sensitive enough for other applications? Absolutely not here is the black ops up against a couple of other microphones on an acoustic guitar Which is of course not the loudest source in the world And of course, ribbons are great when used on uh, sources like a drum kit. Here's my really low tuned drum kit with ridiculous 16 inch hats and a 15 inch snare with the uh, ribbon mic about that far away from the kit. So what, 50 centimeters, half a meter, you know, foot and a half away from the drum kit, capturing the overall essence of the kit. So here's the drum kit without the ribbon, then with the ribbon thrown in, as a mono ribbon right in the middle to really give the kit some weight. Of 
course you can use ribbons on vocals as well, so here's a very short demo of this up against a large diaphragm condenser, which will have more high end. So then I'll do this back to back with a high frequency lift on this compared to the uh, condenser. Just so you can compare the two, the condenser will have more of that modern sound. This will sound a lot more kind of mid-rangey and vintage and will sit in a more vintage kind of thick mix, probably a little better. Testing a microphone, sing when I'm all alone. Testing the microphone, test when I'm all alone. Testing a microphone, sing when I'm all alone. So aside from the awesome case, and then the sound of this on a guitar cab, which to me is the main attraction. The fact that it's absolutely bulletproof as far as uh, ribbon mics go. Uh, this is a work of art. It's a handmade piece of equipment. Extinct Audio make them to order. If you want a completely different impedance on the transformer in these, you can just ask. I think it's no extra cost, I believe. If you want these to be made into a stereo microphone, this little dome at the top can be removed and you can actually attach two of these together at whatever angle you decide, uh, which means that you can then have a firmly stuck um, XY pair of uh, stereo ribbon mics or whatever it is the, the setup that you want. Extinct Audio do do a stereo microphone as well, but that's another option right there. At time of this video going to, to press, uh, these are just under £600 for one of these, which is twice the price of the uh, SEVR1 that we talked about previously, uh, but it's also half the price of the microphone this looks a lot like, which is the Royal 121 uh, ribbon. So I could buy two of these and have these as a stereo pair for the price of one brand new Royal. And considering that these sound very kind of in that ballpark, they, they're not exactly the same as a Royal microphone, but I would be proud to have one of these in my collection. And now I have to see if I can uh, find the budget to keep this thing. Uh, because again, uh, like pretty much every review that I do, and I'm always open about this, I'm not being paid to do this review. I'm not being paid by Extinct or anybody else. Uh, they've sent me this to review and I have to send it back. Um, if I can find the budget, I will be keeping hold of this. Because this, to me, is the Royal killer because it's half the price. <laughs> that's uh, that's my final thought on the subject. So, so check them out, extinctaudio.co.uk and have a look, see what you think, get in contact with them because they do a few different microphones, lots of different applications, and they're real people. At, again, time of filming, there's only two of them in this company, and they care about their products. The box is really cool as well. So, uh, yeah, check them out. Thanks for watching. I'm Adam Steele for Hot Pole Studios, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out our other videos as you can find here or check out our Facebook and Twitter or our Patreon page which helps us to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.